What up dudes, we are out here again. Timmy's Car Rodeo, 4x4 Accessories, South, uh, what is it? Kraus Avenue, South Lismore, next to Saunch Window Tin, and now stock in tyres at discount prices. Look up Blackline Tyres on Facebook, you guys know where to get them. <laughs> anyway, we're out here doing some Corolla stuff, on the hoist still. I got a little package in the mail the other day. Yeah, why not? Nice. Oh, no, I got some cutters. I'll see how that goes. Nah, Alright. Anyway, so that is my TRD two way that I've been talking about. We're gonna open that up, see what it looks like. Um, I kind of bought it just like unseen off the internet, so it could be completely rooted, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, look, he's, uh, he's definitely uh, made it safe on the trip. Oi. JDM AF. Is that a fucking sex ad? Hopefully. Mm. Hmm. We give you a small dick at good price. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's in housing and everything. Yeah, dude, she's, that's why I bought it. I'm like, it's in housing, ready to go. I'll pay a touch extra for that. Not Looks pretty clean. So it's definitely four threes. Stamped. Four threes. Looks like a two way. It does. How's the backlash of it? Minty. Sick. It's cool. I mean, it looks good, so I'm definitely going to chuck that in and see what happens. I feel that's all that matters, really. Well, it doesn't have to feel good, it just <laughs> needs to look good. Uh, anyway, so that cost me a touch more than I'd like to pay for a diff, but it was fast. It literally showed up in like two days after I paid for it. So today's Monday. I paid for it on Thursday. So for the quick turnaround and the time frame I needed, it worked out great. Uh, anyway, I'm going to start pulling the diff out now, and we'll see how that goes, in a white shirt. Alright, so centre is out. If you've never pulled a Corolla diff out before, it's pretty easy. There's like, pull the drum off here, there's four bolts in there, 12 mils, no, 14 mil, I think. So four 14 mil bolts on each side to get that out. Pull your axles out, and then there is 10 12 mil bolts in here, holding your center in, under your tail shaft, and then it comes out. Uh, so I'm just gonna copper max the diff center, throw that back in, put it all back together. Um, and then, Hopefully my sump is ready so I can get that back and put it on. Hopefully. Alright, so I can't really remember where we're up to last time. It's been like a week since I've been here and worked on the car like properly. I've just been doing like little bits and bits and bobs just trying to get it all sorted. Um, but anyway, I think I was waiting for my sump to come back from the welders. So Ezzy hooked me up on that. Welded a Dash 8 fitting onto my sump for the turbo drain. Um, and then since then I've just been plodding along doing real little stuff like making sure everything's plumbed in uh, Nuts and bolts are necessary just like all the little stuff sorted out mounted out my radiator everything like that So I'll run you through that now So we've got radiator in here um, There's actually a like fitting on there uh, Sorry about all the background noise also there's people like changing tires because it's an actual workshop <laughs> Um, so all this is on, we've mounted the coil packs, um, a lot of the wire is done, so that's all like hidden there, Timmy's like tucked it up under the radial there, uh, it all comes in through the one little grommet up here, uh, so like yeah we're just going to do the coil pack wiring, um, I did have an issue with my alternator, because they factory they sit over there in a 4 h uh, I had to put a real drive 16 valve alternator bracket on, uh, and then my alternator didn't work, so then I had to buy like a brand new alternator. But anyway, after a lot of money and a lot of dicking around, I finally got it sorted. Um, I think that's about 
pretty much all we've done since I've uploaded last. Um, I'm just putting the knuckles in. So that'll be after this. Um, and then pretty much just waiting on Timmy to finish the wiring. Oh, slack. <laughs> Which should be in like the next couple days and then hopefully it can like... So we can try and turn it over and see how it goes. Because this motor has been sitting for about seven years and I have no idea what is good on it and what is not good on it. So we're definitely going to find out. And then pretty much we're going to work out if everything that I did putting it together actually worked. Well, look. Timmy's confident. It'll run. It'll run. It'll run. Alright, well we'll just go with that. It'll run. Um, I did actually buy a spare 4A just in case. I went and picked one up the other night. So, worth $200. Big shout out to John for hooking me up on that. And also for finding my JZX lip, which I'd lost on the highway to my house. And he messaged me like after I lost it. And was like, oh dude, I found it and I have it at my house. So anyway, I got it back. Big th shout out to John. Thanks for that. Um, yeah, I put it out anyway, so it doesn't even matter. And I bought a new one from Japan, which doesn't arrive, so... <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's pretty much what we've done since the last update. I'm going to do knuckles today, uh, bolt my wheels back on, um, and then I'm going to go home, and then hopefully by the next video, you guys will know if we're going to make Bring the Bash or not. We're hoping we make Bring the Bash. Yeah, so we're still going to get trimmed. <laughs> There's so much work to do in a week. So it's Thursday and I have to leave next Friday. So I have seven days and a little bit to try and get the rest of this stuff done. But we're not taking the BMW. Oh, we can take the BMW. No, we're not taking the BMW. No BMW. Still not telling you what's happening with the BMW. Anyway, I'm going to put these knuckles in. Bye. All right, so I pulled the steering arms out. These are the old ones here. These are the new ones here. Um, they're actually JDI fabrication ones. It's like stamped there. I don't know if you can see. Oh, you can totally see. Um, anyway, so these are about 20 mil shorter than the old ones. Um, so like three quarters of an inch. And then they got like a massive Ackerman change as well in them compared to the standard ones. So pretty keen to drive with these, see how they look, see how they feel. Um, they look good. So I don't know. I'm gonna throw them in, see how they go. 40 millimeter HAPS RCAs. Um, and that's all my stuff in there. So it's got like dual adjust tie rods here so I can put in big LCAs and still be fine with that. T3 caster arms. Um, that's about all the exciting stuff. Braided lines, JOC coilovers. Uh, still just got JDM brakes in here but I'm probably going to throw some like decent pads in. Um, yeah, so that's about it. I'm going to finish this off. So like slight issue with the knuckles. Uh, they actually hit on the wheels. If you can see up in there, the uh, the tie rod now hits on the wheel. So it only like just touches. So I'll just have to run like a five mil slip on spacer to clear that. But other than that, that's fine. They're all in. I uh, gave it like a sneaky wheel alignment, so it should be pretty good to go. So it's in wheel aligned, we've got that slight issue where I need to get some spaces but I'll sort that out like tomorrow or the next day. Um, Timmy's going to work hard trying to finish the wiring for us. So make sure you got notifications on, you subscribed, you like this video, you comment on this video and next week you will find out if we're making my six week deadline to build a Corolla from scratch-ish. I had a little bit done but not enough. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll catch up with you guys next week. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>